If you're looking at new construction homes, I want to say new construction, I mean high-end new construction homes here in Palm Beach, Florida, this is a video you're going to want to see. My name is Ray Fernandez. I'm with Living in Palm Beach, Florida, powered by EXP Realty, and welcome to Avenir. There's a new community in town here in Avenir, and it's called Apex. If you want high-end new construction in one of the nicest parts in Palm Beach, Florida, this is the community you're going to want to look into. This week, we're going to talk about Apex in Avenir. Last week, Apex had their grand opening, and it went through with a great success. They did a lottery just prior to that. More on that later. But when all is said and done, Apex and Avenir is going to be a total of 562 homes. We've been here, here living in Palm Beach, Florida. We've been here in Avenir for like since the beginning. It's been a few years now, and we've been there with the, uh, with the community of Watermark and Wingate and Regency and Coral Isles. We did recent, more recently, there was uh, Sol Solana Bay. We have videos on all those communities, but this week, we, I really want to impress upon this on Apex because I think this is going to be one of the nicest communities here at Avenir. So I'm filming this video outside the entrance to, uh, to Avenir. Um, normally, I'd be on site and, and go right to this sub community of Apex, but the reason I'm not is the models are not quite ready. They will be ready in probably about five months from now, depending on when you see this video. But um, in any event, um, they, are, they are showing the models at Apex down in their other community. Uh, they have another community down in Boca. It's called Lotus Palm. Again, I've done a video on that. Check out our channel after you see this video on, on that. They are using some of the models there at uh, Lotus here in Apex. The difference is, though, and reach out to our team if you want to learn more about what means what, but they've changed the names of the models. So what's, what is named this in Lotus is actually going to be this model here in Apex at Avenir. All right, here I have my, it's sort of a cheat sheet for me. It's, uh, this is how I tell what models what. Reach out if you want me to send this to you. We'll be happy to do so. But if you are looking in the Lotus Palm, the Bermuda is going to be the Calypso here in, uh, in Apex. The Honolulu and Lotus is going to be the Lynx. You have the, the Polynesia in, uh, in Lotus is going to be called the Polaris. So they have different names. In essence, they have, uh, they have a lot of the same models at Lotus Palm, which, by the way, has sold really quickly. So Lotus Palm is a success story in its own, in its own right. Uh, Lotus Palm, roughly the pricing is going to be a little bit more. In general, if you follow our channel, you know about this. In general, the southern part of the county of Palm Beach is a bit more money than the more northern part. Here we are in Avenir. We are in Palm Beach Gardens, which is more the northern part. But this, in my opinion, is the nicest part of, one of the nicest parts in, uh, in Avenir. But going back to Lotus Palm, they literally sold that community out. It's, it's, it's like 90% sold right now as we speak. And they did it in less than a year and a half. I completely expect this place here, Apex at Avenir, to be of the same nature. One of the reasons they sold so quickly in Lotus Palm is they were selling before they opened, before they broke ground there. They had a major head start before the models opened. As I mentioned, the models are going to be open next year. By the time the models open, I will, I will predict that there will be significant price appreciation. When they had their grand opening, they just had it this past week. They had, when I went there literally like an hour and a half into it, and I met with the guy I work with, they had already sold six homes that morning. So there is a process. When you buy a house today in a community like this that, that's, that's hot and uh, that good demand, they, they have no choice but to sell the models through a lottery. So before the grand opening, what uh, Apex, what Geo Homes, Geo Homes is the builder, by the way, what Geo Homes did is they had a lottery and they put about 70 homes up for sale and they sold over 40 before their grand opening. So they're ready off to a great success. I've seen some of the markets around the country. I see people talking from other cities how it's slowing down. And uh, although the market in the United States in general might be a little bit here, people are still moving to Florida. So I have a hard time sometimes really speaking with people who, who are 
experiencing slowdowns in New York and Connecticut and Ohio, thinking that it's happening here. It's not. Um, we had about, we have had so far year to date about 7% price increase. The new home construction, which here at uh, Living in Palm Beach, Florida, we are a new home co broker. We do a ton of new construction. These builders are regularly moving their price up, prices up every few months. And they can. The reason why they're moving their prices up is because things are selling. So if you want to learn more about what the state of the market when it comes to Palm Beach and or new construction, reach out. 17 years ago, my family and I relocated this beautiful area we call South Florida, and we haven't looked back. Today, we truly find honor to help people, perhaps like you, do the exact same thing. So if you have any questions about what's involved and you're interested in know a little bit more about this area, and you want to ask and reach out to people who've actually done it before, actually relocated to this area from other parts of the country, there's a couple of ways to get a hold of us. Down below is our email address. That's one great way. Also on the screen, you see our phone number. You can either call or text that number. But literally two of the best ways in the description and in the comment section is a link. Click on that link. What that'll do is set up some, set up some time for us to speak, either through a phone call or through a Zoom, whatever way you feel most comfortable. In any case, we have your back when it comes to relocating here to sunny South Florida. So because this, this community is so new, you literally, there's nothing to see. I would be in that, in the community with the models. Um, there's, right now when they did the grand opening, they were literally just had basically a trailer with some signs on floor plans in the model. So there's not a lot to see. Um, if you were interested, um, reach out. I can set up a Zoom and with, uh, with, with the consultant. By the way, if you go to the, um, if you go to the, the um, sales center directly, you're absolutely crazy on your own. More on that later. And more, another factor with that is if you register on their website, that can also be a problem because what they'll do is they'll still assign you. I've, I've seen this happen so many times. They will assign you to a, to a consultant of their, of their picking. And um, I'd rather you work with the best consultant. I'd rather you work with the consultant that's going to work as hard as possible. Each community, I feel there is a consultant that works harder than, than, than the others. And I want you to work with the best. So here are the nuts and the bolts of, uh, of the particulars when it comes to this community. This is stuff that um, you're gonna wanna know if you're considering this community. Size of the homes. The, the lowest, the smallest home is about 1,900 square feet under air. Under air means living space, what, that's what we call that in Florida. And their, their largest goes up to 5,200. So there is a huge variety. I find that in general, most new construction communities don't go that big. That is a larger new construction home for about what, what we see out there today. And the other thing you wanna know, of course, and that's one of the reasons you're listening, is what's the pricing? Um, here you go. On the low end, their base price model is, eight, start, they started at 800,000. They go up to 1.4 million. And if you go to their website, it'll say that, 800,000. But don't get fooled. That's not, that's not really what it takes to get into this community. Um, their website are going to try and get you to look at the home if this is the, the, with the lowest, the lowest price point to get you hooked. There's more involved. There are a lot of these and there are options. More on that in a second. When you go into contract at Apex or pretty much any new construction community, you're going to put down a deposit. A lot of them are 10%, but they're all a little bit different. We work with all, different, all the different builders. We don't have any bias at whether you pick Apex or any of these other Avenir uh, communities. I'm happy, I just wanna help you, or existing homes, I gotta say this. The builders, if you go visit these builders, they will not tell you about existing homes in these communities. We will, we are here to, we are there for you. The new home consultants, generally speaking, they work for the employees, and they don't want you to look and know about those existing homes. We, on the other hand, we have your back, because we don't care whether you buy an existing home or a new construction home in these communities here in, a, in Avenue or anywhere else in Palm Beach. So the lots here in Apex are gonna start at $5,000. That is extremely modest. Uh, when you go into contract, you put down a percent, as I was saying, you're gonna put down a percent of the base model and you're gonna put a, a percent down of the lot. Lots can go up to $250,000. So it's a, it's, it's a significant number. The bigger the lot, the more money it is. There, most of the lots are of similar size but they do have some that are a little bit bigger. You're gonna pay more for those. Also, it is more desirable as perceived at least, and certainly in price, um, to be on water. 
So they're going to charge you more in law prices when you, uh, when you look to be and require to be on a lake view here at Avenir. I know that might sound like a lot for law, for law prices, depending on where you're talking about, but there are some other communities here in Avenir. There's one just right there uh, to the right side of this entrance that they had a lot. They had a lot go for over half a million dollars. Before La Thierry closed out, that's another video we did. That's another great community that they have existing homes for sale in there now. Um, they were selling those lots at about $300,000. So at those prices, that they're actually very reasonable. So again, if you're looking to go into contract, you're going to need to put down money for the base price and for the uh, lot price. And that might not be apparent if you just look at their website. Normally, when it comes to new construction homes, we look at quick deliveries, quick delivery homes. Now, we can't do that here, obviously, because there are the, the community's just getting started. So what's the time frame? If you're buying into Apex, you, are, you should consider, you should think of this. It's to be built. It takes 12 to 14 months to build your house. And you should be thinking about Q1, first quarter of 2025, to move into this community. If you are looking to go into this community or any other new construction community, I highly recommend independent representation. Uh, that means having a company like ours living in Palm Beach, Florida, help you throughout the process. As I mentioned, if you go directly to the builder on your first visit, they will not allow you, this is important, they will not allow you to have independent representation after that. Because um, what they do is they, it's important that you go with your realtor uh, or a company like ours on the first visit. We can help you through the process. We would be there from the start to the finish. And the only way that we can help you is if we are there on that first visit. There is no extra cost to use a company like ours to help you through this process. You can ask the builder themselves. They're happy to pay us. It's the builder who pays us after all. And they're happy to do so because they want us to introduce people perhaps like you to that beautiful community. We don't just do the introduction. My company and ours, we will be there throughout the whole process. We have a transaction coordinating team that will help you out from start to finish. We can help guide you when it comes to the lending aspect of it, the inspection aspect of it, the options. I mentioned uh, pricing before. You, these homes do not come with upgrades and so forth. You might want guidance as to what upgrades make sense. Those are some of the things that we do at Living in Palm Beach. But if you walk into that, that, that sales office on the first visit on your own and register with them, they won't allow that. So please reach out to us. We'd love to help accompany you and help you in your process when buying here in Apex at Avenir. I can't begin to tell you how many times people have called me and says, I was just at Apex. I looked at your video or I was just at Arden. I just looked at your video. At that point, I, I can help guide you and whatnot over the phone, but I wouldn't be able to, uh, to help you and represent you. So Again, independent representation is extremely important. One thing I do like about here, what they do at Apex, is they have a lot to choose from. If you go to some of these other communities, and we've, we've covered all these communities, if you go to some of these other communities, they have less of, a, uh, of, of you know, options to choose from in terms of models. As an example, if you go to Coral Isles, which is where I was earlier today, uh, they, only have, they only have a couple models. They have a hand, less than a handful of models to choose from. It's a smaller community, mind you, but... They will have a total of 12 floor plans to choose from at Apex, which is good. They have a monotony code that they, that they follow, which means you can't have the same home next to the same model of homes next to each other with the same elevation. Reach out to our team if you want to learn more about what that's involved. When they open the models, which will be in about five months or so, they will, they will have, I'm told, nine models. Um, that's what their plan is for now. So not all the models that they have on site will be what's available. There will be a few others that will be made available uh, here at Apex in Avenir in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. I don't know how well you can see it, but down there, there's a, there's a crane. Uh, that's where the town center is. I want to tell you a little bit about Avenir as a whole. In my opinion, this is going to be the nicest community in the area. Um, this is Western Palm Beach Gardens. Palm Beach Gardens, like the eastern part, like downtown Palm Beach Gardens is that way. And uh, there's a lot there. Maybe the nicest mall in all of Florida is there. It's called the Gardens Mall. There's downtown. The Gardens is down there. They have PGA Commons, which they have a ton of restaurants and so forth. They are building a town center here. So over there is where they're currently building their town center. People who have lived here, we've helped many people. We've, we've done business in every community here. We've helped many people move into this area. And they're all very anxious to know when that's going to be finished. And they've broken ground just recently on that. So if you have patience, there is a deal here. The people who get in early to places like this, 
they typically have the they typically have get the best deals. I was just on the phone with a client who bought in one of these communities, and he bought, when he bought and walked into his home, he had hundreds of thousands of dollars in equity. And I think if you were to buy today, in a couple of years, you'd be in that same exact situation. The town center is going to be awesome. It's going to be similar. I've been, the guidance I've been given is it's going to be similar to what you have down there. There's a community called Alton by another builder uh, that, that, that created that. They have an Alton Town Center. They're going to make that town center down there at, uh, at Avenir, the Avenir Town Center, similar. They'll have a farm there. They'll have uh, all, kinds of, all kinds of amenities that will be shared amongst all here in Avenir. Before I diverse and go back into the specifics of the community, one other thing I'll say is this here, one of the problems I sometimes have is there's a lot of traffic here. This is North Lake Boulevard. It's, one, it's the southernmost uh, avenue through Palm Beach Gardens. It is loud. You can probably hear because there's a lot of construction going through. Um, there, there, people complain that this light doesn't work. You, if you move here, you need patience because all this stuff takes time. There's permitting and stuff. The other, this is called Avenir Drive with these Gothic uh, towers here. They are building similar down there. I could see it. I don't know how well you could see it, but in the distance, it's called Coconut Boulevard. They're making a second entrance out that way. Um, to, and that's going to be the better entrance. If you're going to Apex and Avenir, that's going to be your better entrance. One of the things I learned of when I met with the builder this about a few days ago, that's going to be different about this, which I did not realize until now, is the clubhouse and the amenities and the CDD. These are important factors. If you don't know what a CDD is, I'll explain it a little bit later, but um, it's, an important, it's an important point. The CDD in Apex is going to be a lot lower than some of these other... Uh, than some of these other communities, and there's a reason for it. They are actually building their uh, their own clubhouse. Well, not their own, but they're they're sharing it with a, a select other couple of communities. Today, the other communities, meaning Wingate, Walmart, um, Watermark, uh, not say Walmart almost, um, Coral Isles, La Tierra, they, they all share the current clubhouse, which is there, which is beautiful. It's quiet because not a lot of people have moved into this community yet, but uh, they all share that. If you live in Apex, they're building their own community. It's going to be on Apex grounds. They're going to be sharing it with the new community. More on that on a future video that's coming next year, and that's going to be by the Built of Coulter. Reach out to our team if you want to learn more about when that community uh, comes up. We happy to put you on a list to let you know when that has, when that does in fact happen. That Coulter community, which is not named yet, and Apex at Avenir GL, they're going to share a clubhouse. Their CDD is lower by half because of that, and because uh, they they basically forked out the money themselves for that. But that's good. That, that's a big bonus because between those two communities, you won't have other communities coming to your uh, coming into your clubhouse. It'll be a much more private, much more private experience when it comes to viewing the and enjoying the amenities at Avenir. Okay, people always ask about the fees, right? Now, the guidance I am given, I have a breakdown on my, on my sheet there. The guidance I'm giving is $650 per month. People will say that's high, and it is. But the guidance, that guidance includes a recreational fee, an HOA fee, the master fee, and it does include the, eight, the CDD fee. When you speak to each of these communities, each builder will tell you something different in terms of their HOA. If you want to bring everything back to apples to apples, speak to us. Because it's sometimes when people talk about their HOA is only a hundred and less dollars, they're not including everything. And we are here in, uh, living in Palm Beach, Florida, me, Ray Fernandez, I want to be transparent with you guys. I want to make sure you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. All right, on the HOA and the amenities here. I've got these sheets. If you want me to reach out to you, I'll reach out to you by email and, uh, and give you a breakdown. I can actually scan this and send it to you. But uh, the Apex Neighborhood Association today, and these will go up in the future, all HOAs do every year with inflation, uh, it's going to be about $284 a month. It's paid quarterly, but it's, it's, they, they always quote these things per month. Um, the um, association, they have what they call a rec association fee. It's going to be about $100 more or less. The master association fee is very cheap. It's only like $15 a year. So what does that get you? It gets you those clubhouse I was, clubhouse, uh, clubhouses I was talking about. There's going to be four neighborhood uh, parks, three bridge accesses, 
They're going to have a man's gate. That's one of the things that some of these other communities don't have. They're going to actually have a person at the gate that's going to be letting people in. It gives people a better sense of uh, community uh, security. It also gives a little bit better sense of prestige. So that's one of the differences. By the way, on entrances, Jill Holmes has always been a community, a builder that is big on entrances. They're, um, if you looked at my, G my uh, Lotus Palm video recently, they spent $9 million on an entrance. Uh, the entrance here, they're probably not going to spend as much given where it is and whatnot, but they will spend a lot. And I will bet you the entrance to Apex will be more, more elaborate than any other community here in Avenir. All right, continuing, a, the, other, the, other part, the other things that they do include is they include the, uh, the staffing, all the people that help out. They include the monitoring of your alarm. Does not include internet. So that, time, that stuff is going to be on your own. And it does not include uh, lawn maintenance. It does include pest control, but it does not include um, a maintenance. You'll have to do that on your own. But all things, saying, all things being equal, I think there's a lot of value in what they provide for that money. All right, I don't know how well you can see this, but this is a... I could send this to you if you want. And I have a map I can send it to, a map of the community. But this is going to be... This is a rendition or a map of what they expect to have for the, uh, for the amenities. They're going to have a restaurant on, on, uh, on grounds. And a lot of places... A lot of people love that. Um, not, not, most communities don't have that. They have a poolside bar, outdoor uh, dining, massage rooms. They have a, a nail and uh, spa salon. They have a fitness center. They have indoor sporting uh, complex. They're going to have pickleball. They're going to have tennis. So the amenities here at uh, Apex are going to be elaborate. If you want to know anything specific that they might or might not have, reach out to our team. Geo Homes, when they do their communities, they like to divide the homes, their models, into different collections. And this is also, they're doing the same exact thing here. Um, when, they, when you come in and when we, t when we go to the sales center together, we're going to consider two different collections. The pinnacle, if you want, again, if you want this, reach out. I'll, I'll send this to you. But the lowest price model is just under 800000 It's called a Dorado. Uh, it's a total of 1,905 square feet under air. Total of 2,660 altogether. Um, that's in the pinnacle collection. The lower end uh, collection is the pinnacles collection. The largest in that collection is the uh, Polaris, which actually has been a bit of pretty big home. It's 4,267 feet under air. Now, the upper end community, the upper end collection, they call it the Summit. And uh, they, have, they have the following models. So a couple of, this will give you a couple of them. The, uh, the Oracle is one of them. The, the biggest home they have is called the Zenith. The Zenith is 5,260 feet under air. I mean, I think this is significant because most communities don't offer homes that large. I know where I live now, we have homes that are over 6,000 square feet, and we command a really good value um, when it comes to resale, primarily because they don't have people who, people have bigger families, want bigger homes, and there aren't that many options. So if you're interested in resale value, Apex is going to be a great community. Here's something I think it's going to be important from a timing perspective. I told you about the community Coulter's building here in Avenir. I am be, I've been giving guidance that they're going to be north of a million dollars. You can get, the Apex is going to be less money. And the reason, one of the reasons I feel that that's going to be the case, for the Coulter and, and Geo Homes are two of my favorite builders. One of the reasons I feel that they're going to be a little bit, the reason why they're going to be a bit more money is Coulter got in a little bit later in terms of buying the land and clearing it. So they have a higher cost associated. So of course, when they're selling their homes, they're going to pass it on to the buyers who buy in that community. When you get in early, it really, it really makes a big difference. The, the people in Coral Isles, when they first started buying in there, that was one of the first communities here, they could have got, you could have gotten in there for the lower million to million and a half. Today, those homes now go for two to three million dollars. The quality of what GL does is, is high end. I work in another community, in Arden, uh, where we have a couple of builders there. And GL Homes, inevitably, when it comes to apples to apples, they seem to win a lot of the deals because they're perceived as being the, the best, the best uh, one of the best builders in the area. One of the things they're doing here at Apex, which is, uh, which is interesting, they're doing something called Gypped Creek. Uh, it's like gypsum concrete. Um, that's what they're do, putting in on the second floor of their homes. That's something a lot of builders don't do. It's, uh, makes it makes it, the construction of the home at GL 
is in on apples to apples compared to most build, builders is higher and people know that and may have a good reputation for being one of the best builders here in South Florida. I know a lot of you talk about or wonder about the schools. Reach out to our team if you want to know what schools this is districted for. I do have that. But one thing I'll mention regarding the town center, the farm and all that, they are also building a charter school. The charter two school is Somerset Academy. Uh, hasn't broken ground yet, but I'm told that that's going to be from the kindergarten up to fifth grade. So whether you're looking at Avenir, Westlake, Arden, those are the communities that we see a lot of business here because they're the newest business, build, uh, newest communities here in Palm Beach. In any event, we have your back because whether you buy an existing home or a new construction home here in Palm Beach or even going up to Port St. Lu Port St. Lucie, at the end of the day, we have your best interest in mind. Avenir, Palm Beach Gardens, paradise here in South Florida.